Scorpion versus Sayaka. No, the other one. Long ago, I made some art, which I'm not sure if I have it with me or not, but not really art, but an ad. I did an ad where I put up Scorpion from Mortal Kombat and Saika from Madoka Magica or Madoka Magica, whatever how you want to pronounce her name. I always put up, or at least I once think about what will happen if the two meet and begin to fight to the death. Well, I know obviously some people will say that, oh, Scorpion will win because he's immortal. She cannot kill immortal beings. But um, that is true, but I want to try for a different perspective, at least a different way to make it more fair, to at least make it more, you know, let's say that the two have some equal stats. Let's do that. And I want to let you know, do not take this seriously. This is just a fun way of you know, doing some science work. We're doing science, like, let's say that we give Psyche equal stats to Scorpion, like, same exact potent power, same exact defense, speed, agility, reflexes, etc. Of course, she's not gonna have the exact same um, abilities and techniques as him, because no, we're just giving her equal stats. That's basically it of this video. But yeah, let's do what we think. So, if you think Scorpion will win, type down Scorpion that wins. If you type down Psycho wins, say Psycho wins. It's just a fun little debate about putting them equalized, but we'll see how. So, um, forgive me of my lack of knowledge of Mortal Kombat and Mandoka Magica, but I'll try my best to remember the details from the show I watch and the games I play. Let's start out with the feats with Scorpion hats. And he has a lot of feats. Well, I'm going to list the ones that I know the most. So the thing is that Scorpion is technically immortal. Because in the previous Mortal Kombat games, such as like probably Armageddon Deadly Alliance and Armageddon Deception, he did die a few times and then come back to life soon after. And you could say that the Elder Gods are reviving, but this guy is basically dead. As some of the wikis did say that he could technically revive himself from the dead. He's technically already dead. But not just that, but he does show has powerful feats like able to shoot out lava. He's literally a skeleton. He could breathe out fire. His speed is very fast. He got cool spears. He could, um, you know, in the games he does show to summon minions like skeletons to grab an opponent i think he showed that on mk9 i could be wrong he also was supposed to be given the power of the elder guys to defeat onaga but that didn't happen so it's probably not canon or probably at least was a tend to be but who knows scorpion also had fought other people such as sub-zero which sub-zero is a pretty strong guy and i feel like it's one of those sub-zero who has fought Shinnok in the old Mortal Kombat game, which I'd rather not talk about, but he didn't technically fight him, but just outsmart him and get the amulet. Which, again, I don't want to talk about that. Scorpion also shown to be pretty fast. He could teleport, able to react his foe's attacks, shown to be immune to any heat and fire attacks, which he's shown to tank Sector's fire attacks, but also he's also shown to survive in the never realm with huge heat of course everyone else in Mortal Kombat could do that but Scorpion is the most exception he could you could throw into a lava you could throw into the volcano the fire is not gonna have effect on him if anything it'll probably make him stronger properly and lastly we want to talk about his durability he could you could hit him with anything you want you could break his skull you could break his legs his bones but he still keep getting back up um yeah and like i said you could kill him like in the comic books i just know he was killed at one point and somehow come back to life so that means that he is immortal now what about Sayaka? as i said before we're going to give her the same exact stats like scorpion that way we can make an equal fight like her strength will be exact same as scorpion her speed will be exact same as scorpion her defense will be exact same as scorpion now, what does she have that Scorpion doesn't? Well, regeneration 
because as, as I saw in the um the Magical Record or Magical Record, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I saw her arm got blown up, but able to regenerate it in an instant, like nothing happened. She has some healing factors, current magical swords around her out of thin air. And she also be shown to be pretty fast too, like really fast. And also kind of insane and violent. Um, she also pretty strong, like able to keep up with Kyoko, at least for a little bit, cause she's actually, cause to be honest, Kyoko is probably stronger than Saika, which it probably would be true. Since I saw the fight, she was losing badly. I haven't seen the other Magical Record story because um, I haven't watched fully season two of it, but I know that in season one, she was keeping up with a holy mommy, which is impressive. She isn't beating her, she's at least holding her holding her off, at least holding her own against her. Yeah, she got her arm blown up, but she able to regenerate in an instant and keep fighting on like a fighting machine. Doesn't show to be tired after blocking all those dozens of bullets coming at her. But if I'm missing more feats, let me know in the comments below. But as I said before, we do an eagle eyes, make it fair. But at some point, you might figure out that it probably won't be fair in a minute. And you'll see why in a little bit. So now we get to the fight. How should these two meet up in a fight? Well, we could say the setting will be in an alleyway. Scorpion and Saika begin the battle. Now, since they both have equal stats, who's the question is who would be faster? I'd say that Scorpion will probably be a little bit faster because of his teleportation. I haven't seen Saika teleport, but I see Scorpion teleports, and we all see him teleport, so he'll probably would able to teleport away from her attacks if he gets the chance to. Saika will probably have the big advantage because she has instant regeneration and healing. So I'm not sure Scorpion showed that yet. I could be wrong, but. Psycho will probably have the advantages over that. Like, no matter how many times Scorpion damaged her, she would keep healing her wounds and even regenerate her limbs. But, I mean, I haven't really seen her regenerate her limbs. I just, I just saw that one point that her arm explode when trying to hold off Holy Mommy's attack. But then she just pull out a cell and regenerate her arm like it was nothing. However, I feel like the only downside that Psycho won't be able to win. It's because of her soul gem. Yeah, Scorpion won't know about the soul gem, but you know he's going to eventually land a hit of it. And when Psycho react uh, that Scorpion is trying to hit her in the soul gem, Scorpion will realize his reaction out of her and uh, that he knows that oh this gem on her stomach. She react to it, so that means I have to hit it and, and see what will happen. Cause it seems like she's protecting us something. So the moment Scorpion finds out that she's protecting her soul gem, he's gonna go aim right at it and it would be an easy job for him to do it. so he could teleport catching her off guard and land a hit of course Saika isn't really stupid gonna let that happen but you know she could still be catch off guard by Scorpion's teleportation his minion spawning and of course his iconic spear do what I'm trying to say is that Scorpion will probably win oh, since it's the equal stat I'll say that the only thing Scorpion will probably struggle with it's her instant regeneration because no matter what that he tries to like chop her head off, rip her arm off, lift, rip her leg off or any organs part of her, Saika is going to regenerate in an instant and if this keeps going on, Scorpion will probably be frustrated which make him lead to make mistakes and that will be his downfall. And of course, Scorpion will win if um, he finds out her soul gem is a weakness. So yeah, I see it both ways. Either Saika wins with her annoying regeneration and Scorpion will probably be frustrated either his anger power will make him stronger or just make him angrier and weaker because then he wouldn't have been thinking straight and making him lead to mistakes or Scorpion wins if he finds out her soul gems weakness or if he somehow obliterate her entire body leaving nothing behind including her soul gem and just kill her that way. That will happen in equal stats but if you want to be honest with me, if I take out the ego stats, Scorpion will win no difficulty. He's too fast, he's too skilled with martial arts, and he's also immortal. So, she cannot kill him. And yeah, if you could say that, well, she would have win in the first place if I don't put ego stats because Scorpion is immortal. If she still kills him, she's still technically won, but she didn't completely defeat him. 
she just won in a battle but not like completely kill him which still counts as her winning but that's my opinion what do you think what will happen in the equal stats do you think psycho could be scorpion in the equal stat battle or do you think scorpion will still beat her no matter what stat she has let me know in the comments below i would like to hear you out and again don't take this too seriously this is just a fun thing i wanted to do since i like both of these characters especially scorpion and if you want i could try to do a another battle which is godzilla versus hmm well i'll let you guys decide should i make a feel about godzilla fighting who let me know which video you want me to make as always thanks for watching see you guys next time